Okay, so I just got off the trail from where the foxhole was from the Korean War, or suspected foxhole. And what I want to do in this little video is talk about signs of life in the mountains. See, if you're not familiar with the outdoors, and especially if you're not familiar with Korea, you'll hear stories like, there's no more deer in Korea, there's no metdeji, wild boars, none of that stuff. I know, this is what they used to tell me. And I can tell you, none of it's true. And I'm going to show you how to identify these creatures in the mountains. You may not see them, I'm not saying you're going to see them, but you can know their presence by a few simple signs. And one of them is rooting. Rooting is when literally, like a wild boar, the met deji, or in our case even deer, they're going to literally try to root the ground, okay? They're going to try to dig it up and they're looking for uh, food. Look at this area and you can see why they would do this. These are all oak trees here, or oak bushes at this point. Loaded, this whole area right here is just surrounded by oak. Oak, of course, produces acorns. So, these acorns are on the ground. These animals, especially like deer, which are herbivores, they're going to be looking for this stuff. Now, I know for a fact there's deer in this area, because I've seen it. Met Deji, not so sure. I have not seen Met Deji here. But I'm going to go down, I've already been down this trail, but I'm going to go down again. I'll show you where all the rooting's taking place. And you'll see other signs, like if you're on flat, like a grassy land, and the grass is like pushed down, like off a trail, that would be your sign you've got animals laying there. But since we're in the mountains, let's just focus on the mountains here. Alright, some signs are like right here. See how uh, these needles are turned up where it's dark brown? I don't know if the camera shows it well, but that's like the soil turned up. When we go down a little further, you'll see this like right there. See dark? That's been uprooted. Now you're going to see like from this point on, most of this trail just looks like. If you can see footprints, that's an obvious sign too. But there's so many like... Um, we would call it needles and debris. It's hard to see footprints. But what not what is not hard to see is the damage they've done. They're more handiwork. So let's just keep going down. Lots of mushrooms here. Should also point out if you're looking for Met Deji, look low. If you see bark shaved off here, that would be a sign because they're like sharpening their tusks. Deer too. The Korean deer. You can't see this on camera, so let me switch this around. A Korean deer goes up to my waist, okay? It's just a big dog. So it wouldn't be hard for a deer if it wants to massage its antlers or something to also shave off uh, the bark here. I'm sorry, shave off the bark here. It wouldn't be hard for it to do. That's another sign you can look for. Oh, more rooting. Bear with me as I get back in position. As I get back in position. A little bit there. The Met Deji are really good at this stuff. I mean, you will literally see roots torn up when they do it. The deer in this area is to be more gentle. Yes, yeah, so like right here. Let's take a look at this right here. See, like all that stuff. So let's see now someone's been walking here. See if we can get any footprints or anything. I don't see anything there. Sorry if I'm stopped up, but uh, I'm I got a cold, and this place gives me a lot of allergies. See again here. It looks like the ground's been turned up. That's rooting. Now if I go lower, if I go to a different mountain range, that's not as uh, how can I put steep as this. They have a lot of met deji in there, and you can see more damage that they do. But look at this. This is what I wanted to show you. Just look how, see how dark that is? You got the uh, pine needles here, right? But look how the ground's been turned up. It's not flat. This is signs of rooting again. And again, see all these acorns? I'm sorry, see all these oak trees here? They don't have to dig deep. They can just, at this time of the year in October, they can just do a very shallow top surface dig and they're going to get all the acorns. In fact, there's no acorns here that I see. So it's a good thing I collected mine weeks ago. 
because in this area, you know, they've already eaten them. And so on it goes. I'm like going to continue this hike down there and we'll see what happens. But look here, before I turn this off, this again, look at this, more rooting. So if you're a hunter, or maybe just survival, it's a thought for you to keep in mind. It's like, hey, wait a minute. I'm in a food source area. Acorns. You might have chestnuts if you're near chestnut trees. Do you think animals are going to want those? Of course they do. So that means if the animals want them, I'm sorry, I might even be able to say if you want it, that means the animals are going to want it too. So that means that's a food source. Not only do you get nuts, but you can even get yourself a deer or something too. If you plant accordingly. Hey, if I'm lucky, I can find some wild mushrooms up here. And if I find, like, the good wild mushrooms I find, I can make a video on that. But anyway, just wanted to show you that. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. Man, yeah, you see right here. Look at this. this. This is a root that got torn up right here. Check that out. That got yanked out. Yep. They're here. All right. So, I'm going to go that way, continue up the mountain, the mountainside there. Just wanted to show you that quick little trip for looking for life in the mountains. You already know footprints, I think everybody knows that. But within the mountains, especially in Korea, look for the rooting. If you're fortunate enough to see bark that's been shaved off at the lower portions, then you know definitely you have uh, wild boar or deer here. And be on the lookout for it. So, I'm going to keep hiking. You all have a great day. Out.